Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. Now this week, this reading will span a period between about the 17th and the 23rd um, and will be for the sign of Aries. Aries, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I do want to say to you, I've made changes to my website and to my YouTube channel. You will notice the differences. Um, it's made it much easier to subscribe to me if the readings resonate and also to make donations if you want to um, help the channel grow. Uh, also underneath each of the uh, videos now I have the classes I'm currently running. Um, I have a fully booked first class. Then I think the next two classes only have one position each and the last class has two positions still left. They are all the classes for June. Hopefully going forward, I'll be able to offer um, offer more groups at different times. Um, they will be done on Zoom. So if you're able to get within the time frame, they may suit. You may be able to still join us. Alrighty, uh, using the Cosmic Tarot for your reading. And you have the King of Swords coming out. Now, I strongly feel this is your energy here, Aries. Um, the King of Swords is a person who um, is very logically minded. He's a person who knows how to strategize for something. Now, I feel this person's been keeping a close eye on a situation um, in order to strategize some sort of movement or some sort of offer here. The king is ready to talk. He's very, very focused on what he wants here. He has this beautiful hawk here. So he may have been keeping an, a close eye on a situation to see how it was going to move forward. Okay, so this person's very confident now. They have what it takes to bring in the life they want. So something's happening here with this magician. This is about manifestation. This person here is extremely focused on what they want in their life, what they want to bring in. Okay, so we have a Queen of Pentacles. So it could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, but you've certainly got your eye on someone here that possibly you see as being long term, a long-term successful relationship. And I feel that you perhaps now are ready to make an offer to this person or ready to move forward. I think you see this person as what you would say wife material. Um, it goes against my grain a little bit because I'm certainly not a wifey person. But I feel this is how you're seeing this person here. Um, and you want to work on something. So there's definitely this feeling that you want to work on a relationship. There appears to be some sort of balance be being made by you. So you're still balancing out things in your life to make sure that if you make this offer, um, it will be accepted. I do believe you're very passionate about this person. So you may have already been in a relationship for, with them for a little while, but you're ready to make some sort of offer here now. Okay, we have messages going across the airwaves. So this is text messages, emails, communication. Now this is going both ways too. So you're ready to communicate with this person or they're ready to communicate with you. Beautiful. Look at this, the card of Aries. So you're coming up in your own reading, which is always nice, Aries. So you're feeling very much in your own energy at this time. I feel that you are ready to speak to someone. I do think that you are make, trying to think how to make communication. Maybe pop the big question, maybe ask for something, but you're definitely in this energy of being ready. Um, as I said before, I feel that you might have been keeping an eye on them, making sure that they are, you know, maybe they're in the right place. Maybe you're nervous about making this offer. Talking about nervous about making an offer. So there's a little bit of anxiety here. Why is there anxiety? If you realise this person is right for you, if you realise this person is someone you want to be with, why are you anxious? Now, the thing is, I mean, this could be the person you're dealing with. These re readings do flip-flop, no doubt whatsoever. But I feel like there's this sort of energy here that you've been rehearsing this. You may have even been standing in front of a mirror trying to apologise, maybe. Um, something, went, something went awry here. And I feel that there's either still communication here, um, but something has just not gone on track for you. Okay, oh, radio. So then we have the tower. All right, let's 
keep going with the reading and we have some heartbreak. Okay, and then we have the three of wands. All right. There's a possibility you let this person go and they're with someone else at the moment. There's also a possibility that you had someone else in the picture and let them go. But it looks like there's still some communication here, which is sort of throwing me a little bit because maybe you've stayed friends after some sort of relationship. Maybe you've um, stayed in contact with each other um, because there still seems to be a communication. Definitely some sort of third party interference here, though. It's definitely something came between you, whether that's on their side or whether it's on your side. Um, but I feel like you have had a realisation that this person is the right person for you, but it's come with this sort of like either a shock revelation or an uneasy feeling here because it's made you quite anxious now. So you could have said no to this person but stayed friends with them. You could have walked away from this person for another relationship. Why are you worried about coming forward is my question. Okay, let's keep going. We have the strength card coming through. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign, perhaps a Leo. This person, this situation is offering you something so beautiful here. So beautiful and yet, yeah, there you are as the king of wands. So you know what you want. There's no doubt you're standing in your own power. There are two cards that represent you here. Um, there is a lot of fire, a lot of passion in this reading, but there's also a lot of swords. So for me, there is some sort of breaking down of some idea here in order to move forward. So maybe that you didn't see this person for their value before. Maybe you're starting to see their value. But you're definitely making some sort of big move here. Okie dokie. All right, let's have a quick look. King of Swords, some sort of communication. I feel that you've manifested or put yourself now in a position that you can offer someone something long term. There's something here that you now want to work on that perhaps you didn't want to work on before. Um, there's some sort of balance required here in order to bring this passion forward. And I feel like the balance somehow is in you determining how is the best approach to what is the best approach to take here. I feel like you've realised the connection with someone. I feel very, very strongly now that you want to move towards them. But there's a lot of fear here in how to do that. Now, we have the tower here, which tells me that there seems to be sort of some um, breakdown of old ideas. And it could be that you've left someone here. Maybe that's why the tower. You could have left someone behind to move towards a person that you felt a very strong connection with. Um, you could have finished off some sort of long-term relationship here. Maybe you were dealing with someone who it's taken a little while to sort of move them off your radar. But I feel like there's a lot of nervousness here about moving forward. Maybe you're still balancing out the past energies to get to this point. But there definitely is this feeling, there's the King of Swords again, with the Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so what we have here, and I just wanted to get some clarification because I'm thinking, why are you so nervous about it? You obviously want either marriage or something long-term with a new person. You are nervous speaking up. It's because you want this so badly with this Nine of Cups. This is a wish coming true. So you see this person as being your person. And you're feeling so overwhelmed with this feeling, this passion, this love, that it's actually sort of holding you back a little bit because maybe you're questioning this power that this uh, pull has or this relationship has on you. But there's this feeling here that this is a wish come true for you. Um, don't hold back. Do what your heart wants to do. Whoever this is you're moving towards will be, I'm sure, because there's backwards and forwards communication here so this person isn't hating on you or disliking you for what you've done or anything like that so I think they'd be okay with you coming forward but I don't know what happened there could have been some conflict here for chakra archangel Raphael coming out here so this is about healing so maybe you need to do some inner healing before you take this leap 
Okay, this is about love, compassion and self-acceptance. Maybe you don't feel good enough. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart centre. This card upright indicates that you now have great readiness to receive love from others as well from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place, which is what I said. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart centre will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and, to, and support to grow and grow. So perhaps just a little bit of healing here now before you move forward. But um, I feel maybe you're sort of jumping from one relationship to the other and that whole balancing out might mean you need to take a little bit of a break. I mean, if you're already talking to this person and there is some communication there, then I don't think you're going to really experience too much pushback. Have a great week.